now that everything's been configured, I'm going to look at my GIS data. I'm using the Esri Local Government Data Model, and I've created a file geodatabase called Water Distribution, and all I did was import the schema, and I'm just using the water feature data set. If you want to have pictures associated with any of these features, you can right-click on them and tell them to manage and tell it to add attachments. I've done this for Hydrant, and you can see down here the attachment. So I already have a map built. I'm just going to click on File and Open. So you need a map. It has to be saved. What we have here is the NEI territory, and I'm just going to zoom down to New Orleans. So this is going to be my project area, and I'm going to click on Save. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start up the Terraflex desktop admin window, and we're going to create a project. I'm going to click on Create, and what you need to do, it finds out what layers are available to publish to Terraflex. So I'm going to highlight all the ones I want. If I only wanted one, you would just highlight the one you want to collect data on. And you hit Create. And it's created a project for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight the project. And we're going to publish this. And this is going to publish the needed form templates inside of Terraflex based on the account that I gave. In here, if I wanted to associate this project with some specific users in my account, I can highlight them. So I'll highlight Chad. And we'll highlight Bernard, and we'll publish this form out. Once it's successful, you click on OK. I'm just going to highlight my project again, and I'm going to click on Set Current. I'm going to click on OK, and just for good measure, I like to save my map when finished. I have Terraflex Mobile running on my Geo. I'm going to sign in to my Terraflex account. On the home screen here, first thing I'm going to do is click on Sync to get my forms. And then up at the top right, I'm going to choose this tool. I'm going to select the project. And I'm going to scroll down my list and find that project we created earlier, which is the Terraflex ArcMap plugin. And what we're going to do is scroll the screen back up. I'm going to click on Collect. Here's my different forms. We're going to choose Hydrant in this example. A point's been collected. What I'll do here is just fill out a few things, pick an install date, give it a description here. Took four rotations to open. The manufacturer is Mueller for this particular one. And then what we'll do, we'll give it a flow rate. And then we'll add a photo here. So what we're going to do is click on the camera. It's going to bring up the module. We'll click on OK. Once this picture comes in, if you wanted to add another one, we could hit the plus sign. We're going to click on the checkbox to save this particular asset. And you can see at the bottom it's sending the form. Once the sync is complete, we would just keep repeating the process. Now that the data has been collected and synced back to Terraflex, we're going to open ArcGIS. We're going to open our project. And now I'm going to click on the admin window here. And I just want to double check that the Terraflex ArcMap plugin project is actually set to current, which it is here because it's grayed out. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to turn on the dockable window. And down here at the bottom, we have a few options. We can download all non-exported forms, only the ones collected in the last, and you can pick however many days, only non-exported forms inside the current extents, all forms. We're just going to click on all non-exported forms and I'm going to click on download. All right, so it's here we've downloaded 25 forms. I'm going to click on OK. I can just highlight this hydrant here and say zoom to. That's the first hydrant I shot in yesterday. If I want to find out information about it, I'll click on the info button. In here you see all the attributes we collected the type, the manufacturer. You can see our two attachments as well. I'm going to zoom back out. Just see all the features we collected yesterday. All the data synced in just fine. So everything's working like it should.